This is about flexibility and consistency when it comes to raising children with multiple languages and cultures. You may wonder why it is so important to be flexible. I mean, everyone tells you to be consistent, to create a need for children to use a language. Yes, but flexibility is key. First of all, because it allows you to be a bit more relaxed. When we are too focused on details, we tend to forget to take a step back and look at the bigger picture from a distance. It's not necessary to constantly think about how much input our children get, if they are processing the language in the best possible way, if uh, people around us are using the language correctly, whatever this means. This only makes us worry, get tense and actually also frustrated. Growing up with multiple languages is nothing special. It's how many of us grew up and I think we are doing pretty well. Did our parents do everything right? No. Did this ruin us, our whole multilingual upbringing and our love for languages? No. So be kind to yourself and your children. Know that sometimes things just don't go as planned and that is okay. You can always adjust the sales if this is really necessary. But one aspect that we surely should never underestimate is the joy and the pleasure to connect with our children and to explore the world of the language, the culture with them. As long as we know where we are going and what we are doing, we will be fine. I do help families make a plan, but the art of actually a good and efficient plan is that it is consistent and flexible at the same time. It's the art a little bit to finding out what our very personal balance between consistency and flexibility is. A good plan takes into account a variety of aspects, among which that our children and we change over time, that our priorities change, interests change, so I invite you to just be flexible and enjoy using your language and any other language you like and need with your children and your dear ones. And if you have any questions about this, just don't hesitate to let me know. And please share this with those who might need it right now. Dankeschön, thank you, merci beaucoup, gracias, grazie mille, and helemaal bedankt, en gamsamida.